Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your Divine Masculine weekly forecast. So today's theme is losing you meant finding me. So the card that really stood out for me for today's reading was the Ten of Swords picking up the pieces. So this is just kind of where I was guided to start with today's reading. So we're going to do a deep dive into this masculine to really see what he was left with after the two of you experienced the demise or ending of this connection. So we're definitely tapping into those that experienced either some sort of a separation or challenge with your divine masculine. But of course, at the end of the day, you guys just take what resonates for you. Um, all the decks that we're going to be using here today will be listed down below as well as this beautiful organite here from Michelle from Bell's Wing and Bell. So let's dive into this. We're going to take a look and see what pieces was your divine masculine left with after things fell apart between the two of you. So this is going to be maybe how he felt, what came came up, what he experienced after the two of you guys separated. Let's take a look at this. What pieces was your divine masculine left with after things fell apart between the two of you? Mm. I want to talk about pieces, ashes, right? Phoenix rising. I do feel like this uh, was a devastating loss. I really do. Um, because the Phoenix rising is a death, rebirth, transformation, Pluto energy all the way. So um, I feel like he felt definitely like a loss, a huge loss. And it may be that um, he was, you know, hell bent on improving himself and transforming himself on some sort of deep level after the two of you separated. So I feel like it had a really significant impact on his life, Divine Feminine. Absolutely. So to me, this just really coincides with the um, with the. Uh, title of this reading, losing you meant finding me. Absolutely. He had to lose you and, and lose himself in order to find himself once again. All right, let's see what else. What else wants to come through with what pieces was your masculine left with after things fell apart between the two of you? Ooh, <laughs> crazy. This was extreme energy, you guys. This was on such an extreme level. It changed him forever. That's it. It got so hot. It's like, you know, you're you're so hot, you got to open up a window. You 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 have to you have to catch your breath. It, it was pretty extreme, for sure. And even if he didn't feel it, the flames um oh, I just kind of looked at this here. This 10 of swords has flames. Um he definitely felt some sort of a burn or a flame, something that was lighting like a like a light that's lighting up underneath him, trying to move him into a certain direction to improve himself on an extreme level. You guys, this is not something that's subtle. It's extreme energy for sure. So what pieces was he left with? Some pretty extreme pieces, some extreme pieces um, of whatever transpired between the two of you. I feel like it definitely um, impacted him on a, again, extreme level. All right, let's go ahead and get some messages on that, on this extreme energy, on this major death and transformation. We have the six of wands. I really like this because this is about recognition. This masculine really recognized on an extreme level something about himself. There's something that was majorly um, brought to his attention. He was made aware of something. And this is really cool because the second thing we're going to go into here after this section is epiphany. What new level of awareness does this masculine have on this connection? So I just feel recognition as the six of wands all the way. He recognized something pretty much immediately right after losing this connection feminine or after it ended. That's for sure. We, okay, well, what he recognized feminine is that somebody like you doesn't just come come around, um, you know, every day. There's a huge loss here. Feels a huge emotional loss because the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very kind, very giving, uh, very deep, just someone that you definitely connect with on a very deep soul level. So I just feel like, you know, maybe this was not immediate, but once he was uh, recognized this, it was it hit him pretty extremely. This loss hit this masculine on a very extreme level. That's for sure. And I feel like it gutted him. I really do. We have the Queen of Wands. This is interesting. There's two queens here. This could be 
that this masculine is not going to resonate for everybody. So only take it if it does. It could have been that he made the wrong choice. He, he decided to go with someone else and this queen of wands. And this is not to give her a bad rap, but I'm just comparing, comparing the two in the story. This is you divine feminine. And I just feel like if he went into this direction, this may have been somebody that he um, had a little, you know, fancy for a moment. It didn't last. This might be somebody that he got together with that was in a power, like a position of power or authority. So we thought that that was what was going to make him happy. It didn't. So when, when things crashed and burned, I'm going to tell you right now, this masculine felt the pain of your loss, which is why we have the Ten of Swords here to start this reading. This was no easy loss, you guys. Huge loss for this masculine. He recognized only after the fact. Yeah. So maybe it did take him to lose you in order to really understand something here. Recognize something on an extreme level. Yeah. Whew, that just just even gives me a little bit of that like heavy hearted feeling just even tapping into that a very very hard lesson for this masculine all right let's see what else what else what other pieces was your masculine left with after things fell apart between the two of you so even if there wasn't someone else but I feel like for the majority of you guys, there might have been, but that could have maybe just been he chose his career or he chose to just himself over you. That could have been it too. Um, so it doesn't have to actually be third party for everyone. Ooh, oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay. If there was another person involved, you heard that this masculine got together with somebody else after you or chose someone over you or whatever, doesn't really matter the timing on that he eventually felt like he sold himself out because this is not to give the queen of wands a bad rap, by the way. I love the queen of wands, but when we're comparing her in this scenario, the extremes, I guess, between these two, the queen of cups is someone who you can trust. The queen of cups is somebody who's compassionate. She's going to take care of you. She's going to nurture you. She's kind. The queen of wands, look, look at her. She's powerful. Great. But she's also independent and she's out for herself. So at the end of the day, this masculine got this extreme wake, wake up call that he made the wrong choice, that whatever he went towards, he ended up losing this compassionate, beautiful soul such as yourself. Yeah, somebody that was going to be there for him. So he sold out. He sold out for the wrong things. He sold out for power. He sold out for um, status. He sold out for money, whatever. But whatever it was that he sold out for, it was the wrong choice and he felt the loss in an extreme way. Wow. We have wisdom, you know, and the thing is, unfortunately he had to learn the hard way. Sometimes that's just what it takes. We have to learn things the hard way in order to obtain that wisdom. He couldn't have known. And it's not to say or excuse any kind of bad behavior or poor choices. It's just that you, you don't know until you know. And the masculine had to learn this way, unfortunately. Had to learn the hard way, and the hard way was losing you. With the nine of pentacles, or nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles means to me that this masculine just probably ended up um, alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being alone. But I just feel like whatever choice he made, he ended up alone anyways. Or he ended up very lonely, actually. Um, it, it pushed him to have to work on himself regardless. So if he thought that life was going to get better after you or it was going to be better with someone else, it didn't. It's, he still had to do work on himself. That didn't change. So he was still at the end of the day left with himself. And I feel like it was on a more extreme level because the, the longer that you go from person to person to person, the more that you're just not tending to yourself, the more you're not really looking at yourself. You're kind of looking at others to provide your happiness, et cetera. But once that's all gone or it's not working anymore on an extreme level, it's going to hit you that, wow, the relationship that you have with yourself maybe isn't all that great, you know? So yeah, this masculine had to lose himself, maybe lose everything in order to actually gain something. And I feel like it was wisdom at the end of the day. Wisdom. Ooh, justice. Damn. Okay. So justice, of course, is a few things. There could have been an injustice with some sort of a decision or behavior. Um, this could be like cutthroat. This could be justice where I want to try, I want to try to be a better person. I want to act with more integrity. I want to do the right thing moving forward. So I feel like there's an extreme change or an extreme shift that this masculine goes through after he separates with you feminine or after something fell apart for him. So he's picking up the pieces, wanting to do things better. 
maybe even wanting to make wrongs right. Some of you, this masculine could have apologized to you. Some of them may have just thought about it, but didn't. Um, yeah, but there's definitely something here hitting him, looking at himself and realizing that the decisions that he's made um, weren't all that great. And we have the two of pentacles. See, this masculine is looking at two, two people. Um, for some of you guys, there is a woman with two children. So there could have been um, like somebody who, like the mother of his children, um, if that's a scenario, and then you, some of you guys, it could be somebody could have just gotten together with somebody that the family wanted him to get together with, or maybe the, the family thought that this is the ideal person for you, uh, whatever though. But with the fact that we have two people here, just like the two Queens, I feel like this is significant. Uh, sometimes the justice card can indicate legal contracts, legal marriages, or people that you have things with, like it's a contract to have children or a contract to run a business together, or just a sole contract period, but it could be a karmic relationship as well. But whatever it is, though, this masculine, I feel had to go through something in order to gain this clarity and wisdom, just like he had to go through losing you in order to understand how important you really were, and how great you really were. You had to sometimes lose things in order to understand their value. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get one more set here to see what pieces this masculine was left with after things fell apart between the two of you. Ooh, we have procrastination. So this is about, you know, that firecracker that needs to actually be lit under your ass in order to get you going. I do feel like losing you really did spark this this um this light. And also we have a lantern. So the lanterns usually remind me of the hermit, and it's about wisdom and guidance and going within the self for the answers. So procrastination is like we're really dragging our feet. What are we dragging our feet for? You know, why are we so reluctant to change? Why are we so reluctant to compromise with other people? So I feel like this was something that the masculine was left with about himself. Why is he such a procrastinator? What is the problem? Why Why is he having a hard time either moving forward, committing, etc.? So this really helped him to focus on them. why. So when you've got nothing else to do but to focus on yourself because you're either alone or maybe everything has fallen apart, this is when you're really going to do that transformative work. And I feel like that's why that butterfly is there. This is really going to help you to see things very clearly. We have the two of cups. Look at that. Oh, this looks like Winona Ryder, doesn't it? <laughs> very interesting. Um, yeah, so for me, what this is telling us is that when it comes to relationships, how you're connecting with other people, um, this masculine realized that he's procrastinating or he's got some sort of an issue with committing to someone or really connecting with someone on a deep soul level, letting someone in, letting someone see his vulnerable side. So that could have been an issue that you were having with this uh, masculine feminine, for sure. So this this particular masculine during this period of time after losing you, these pieces that he was left with was um, his relationship style, his intimacy style, what his hangups or his issues are with intimacy. So a lot of that stuff came up to the surface and he had to deal with it in an extreme way. Ooh, five of swords. This is somebody who sabotages, hurts everyone. I hurt you before you can hurt me. Yeah. We got that werewolf there. This it's like I need a change. I this transformation. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep hurting everyone. That's what I'm getting with that. So this masculine has a string of broken hearts, a string of victims, and you are one of them, divine feminine. And I feel like losing you and going through something, making a really poor choice or a bad choice has left has led to this masculine's transformation. Mm, look at that two of swords. I'm the only one that can fix it. I'm the only one uh, th that's going to be able to get out of this stuck stalemate of uh, life or energy. So the procrastination and stuck energy, it's like I can stay here forever. I can stay in this space where I think that I'm safe, where I'm you know, just going to sabotage everything, walk away from anything that's good, you know, because I don't deserve to be happy. I don't know how to be happy, etc. Um, or I can lean into this and open my heart up to a, a, a true divine connection with the Queen of Cups. So I feel that it was either a choice to love you or to betray you, love you or push you away. And this one, that one at the end of the day, feminine. So what pieces was he, was he left with? Why he did what he did to you and everything 
that maybe happened out after you with another person, this also led to some sort of an epiphany or understanding or a new level of awareness. So what's cool is that we're going to be going now into the epiphany, which is what new level of awareness does your divine masculine have right now about you and this connection? So where did all this lead to when it came to you and the connection? So now we're going to go into the Ace of Swords, which is I have a new level of awareness. Well, what is that? What is this masculine's new level of awareness? Let's see. What is this masculine's new level of awareness that he has towards you and your connection, Divine Feminine? We have enthusiasm, self-expression, um, self-confidence, totality, sharing, a positive response. Wow. So this is really cool, you guys, because to me what this is stating is that this divine masculine may not have been super enthusiastic about sharing himself, um, positively responding to this kind of love offer that you were offering him before divine feminine. But maybe something has shifted, something has changed. And on the bottom of the deck, I have Source. So this could be a divine masculine who has actually taken the time to connect with Source through maybe some sort of a belief system or a philosophy or a religion. So there could have been something that has happened here that has um, brought on this inspiration, something he's very enthusiastic about that's changed his level of perception and awareness towards you in this connection. Some new belief system or philosophy. Mm, the eight of swords mental right look at her guilt guilt shame so a lot of people will say especially like in the new age spiritual community you know negativity low vibes all that other stuff don't focus on it don't talk about it, it becomes real you know whatever to each their own but guess what we are human beings and we're all going to feel this at some point or another now that doesn't mean you want to sit there and wallow in it you don't want to drive yourself mad sometimes people can do that they'll go to the extreme right and feel things to the extreme but nothing is wrong feeling things and feeling them with balance or imbalance so it's good to feel guilt it's good to feel shame it's good to feel embarrassed it's good to feel all those things um because then that's your higher self that's letting you know that hey maybe there's something that you need to correct maybe you can have a different response next time maybe you should have done this or should have done that and so there's always room for correction but we have to make error errors in order for us to understand what we want moving forward so that's the, the just the balance of life that's the the balancing scales i feel of life so i feel that when the the new level of awareness that this masculine has about you divine feminine the guilt that he has felt for what he has either said to you or done to you has been in his head long enough or yeah it's been in his head long enough to where he's enthusiastic about changing this around by actually sharing something with you and turning this negative into a positive. That's what I'm seeing with this. So there's some kind of monsters. There's monsters in my head. Is that a song from someone? I feel like it is. Or it was, maybe that's monsters in my bed, but I think it's monsters in my head. Hmm. Five of Swords. So in this deck here, these are this is the Cloud Suit, which is the Sword Suit. Five of Swords just came up. And remember I said that this masculine had a choice to either love you or betray you. There's a lot of guilt about betraying you, feminine. And we have the word comparison. Maybe he was comparing you to someone else. Maybe he, remember, he sold out. He made the wrong choice. But did he? Whatever choice he made actually led him down the path to where he needed to go which I feel is ultimately leading him back towards this connection. But regardless, at the end of the day, the Five of Swords is very unfair. It's very unfair for us to make comparisons because everyone is unique. Everybody is different, right? So it was unfair of him to make comparisons. It was unfair of him to maybe say things to you to make you feel like you weren't good enough or to do things that made you feel like you were not good enough. So... I feel like this new level of awareness of understanding himself and like really understanding that, you know what, I, I, I'm really not this person. I didn't mean to say those things to you. I didn't mean to do those things. I know why I did those things. I did those things out of fear. I did those things out of um, self-hatred because I didn't love myself. 
So of course, if you don't love yourself, then you're not going to act kind and loving towards other people. So this masculine, I feel the shift that he's had, number 16 tower that he has had, this tower has created him to want to change this negative into a positive. So this is the new level of awareness that he has for you in this connection is that he's excited to be able to turn things around one day. Yep, to heal at Four of Cups. I'm sorry, not Four of Cups. I don't know why I said Four of Cups. Um, to heal this. You know, maybe I said Four of Cups because he rejected this before. He rejected this offer of divine love, which was coming from you, Divine Feminine, the Two of Cups. But this right here, this is the King of Cups. This beautiful energy here, it's about um, having that level of awareness, that level of emotional maturity to be able to heal this, to be compassionate enough to have this conversation. So I feel like right now, this is where this masculine is either at or he is working on, you know, kind of reaching this level of emotional mastery. By healing himself, he is able to then in turn come back and heal this connection with you. So... That's what I'm seeing here. This is somebody who wants to heal the situation. This masculine wants to heal. So his new level of awareness is that he wants to come back and heal this eventually one day. And he's very enthusiastic and excited about doing it. And um, I feel like he's leaning more into his heart space rather than just staying stuck in the guilt and shame that he feels. He's. It's like because... It's, it's being aware of, yeah, it's great to be aware of yourself and aware of your flaws, but to solely focus on that really isn't going to get you anywhere. All it's going to do is it's just going to cause you to feel stuck. It's going to cause you to feel shame. You're not going to want to face anybody that you've hurt. Um, this is a, a whole new level, the King of Cups, a whole level of compassion, knowing that we can move forward and giving ourselves grace, basically, to make mistakes and having that faith that we can move forward perhaps and you know turn things around with people that it's never too late oh so beautiful all right let's see what else what new level of awareness does your masculine have right now about you and this connection so i feel like there's some sort of a faith that he can restore something between the two of you we have the marrying maiden hmm okay um this is going to be only for some of you guys. So I'm going to make this brief because I don't feel like it's going to fit everyone's situation. If you're with someone else, or if this masculine might still be with someone else, this could be a little bit of what the holdup is. This isn't happening yet, or it hasn't happened yet because someone is not available. Not going to be for everybody. But if you are available, feminine, and this masculine is unavailable, and there's no chains that are holding you guys back, I'm just getting here that this masculine's new level of awareness is that he can come back and change this anytime he chooses to. He has the free will to do that. But some of them, this masculine wants to do this with you, feminine, but is under some sort of, there's a barrier here. We have prosperity, wealth, good fortune, success, expressing gratitude and supporting other people. So this is beautiful because to me, this is like a generosity, somebody that's just coming forward. They're coming forward with a gift. So again, if there are no blocks here, I feel like this masculine, he he's aware of the fact that he can come forward at any time and just bestow this gift. And it's not only a gift for you, it's a gift for him too, because in a way it sets both of you free. And Tiggs agrees if you heard him meowing. Yeah, look at that Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is basically letting go. It's letting go of the hurt. It's letting go of all of just the old stories, the old um, just narratives, the old things that that are in our head. It's being able to let that go, you know, and really, really heal from this. It's beautiful. Yep, look at that, beautiful. Ace of Cups, just going with the flow. A lot of water energy here. I mean, there's there's the um, air energy, right? So very much in the head, but in the heart space too with the water. But going with the flow, this masculine, I feel, has let go of a lot of his old stuff. Maybe a lot of the things that he was holding on to, a lot of things that he thought were valuable. He's learning through life. It's not as important as he thought it was. Money, materialism, success, all that other stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, those things are great, but it's not something that 
sorry to say, for some people won't last a lifetime. Your health will dwindle, your looks will fade, your bank account may be drained, um, status, things change, popularity changes, all those things. But the thing that can stay forever, you know, is your, your, the love that you have. And those things can change too. But the, but what I'm getting here is that, and I know that there are like words and sayings out there, you know, about a rich man is this or that. I can't think of what they are right now. But this is just really telling me here that this masculine has really let go of a lot of his old ideas of things that he thought were actually important to him and that were going to make him happy. And he has actually realized that with time, um, he would rather just be at peace. He would rather just be happy with himself and with the people around him than trying to impress or trying to have a specific like status in life. Those types of things may not make him happy anymore. So his new level of awareness right now is that his queen of cups, which is you divine feminine is actually more suited to him. The kind of person that you were and are is actually better suited for him than what he thought was going to make him happy. So that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, source. And that's funny because that was at the bottom of the deck, remember? There's something where he has this new level of um, understanding or awareness or a new belief system that's actually attributing to this. It's attributing to this new thought. So there's some kind of new thought philosophy that this masculine has. And because of this, it's actually leading him towards this path of inner peace, tranquility. It may be like an Eastern, Eastern religion, like Buddhism or something, Hinduism, Buddhism, something like that, where it's... Um, there's just a different set of beliefs as to, um, you know, kind of what the meaning or the key to life is, that sort of thing. So this new level of awareness, this new belief system is actually helping this masculine to be a better person. And it's helping him to realize what really is important and what really matters. And it really is connection, connection with the self, connection with source, peace, tranquility, love. You know, it's not about these material things that fade. So, and I feel because you came through as a queen of cups so strongly in the very beginning, divine feminine, this masculine is realizing that someone like you does not just come um, into someone's life every single day. You're one of a kind, you're rare. And this masculine is realizing just how rare you really were and are still. Okay, <laughs> so that's what we have so far. So what we're going to do now, you guys, is we're going to dive into the extended reading. Um, I'll put the link in the description box as well as pin it to the top comment. But we're going to go into thinking of you, which is what aspects of you and this connection is your divine masculine still hung up on? You know, what aspects of you does he still think about? Ponder over. Then we're going to go into the watcher, which is how your divine masculine is currently keeping taps on you. So is he watching you on social media? Is he thinking about you? Is he asking questions about you? Is he trying to find information about you? We're going to go into the telepathy, which is what psychic energy and thoughts is your divine masculine sending your way. So are there things that you're thinking, maybe songs that you're hearing, etc. This is going to be psychic energy he is sending your way. And then also justice. How does your divine masculine plan on making things right with you at this particular time? So yeah, if that sounds interesting, definitely join me over there. And if not, uh, definitely share your thoughts with this video, give it some love. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.